morning, Erin. Okay, so I am going to work out today, I promise. But before we get to all that, let's take a look at everyone else who's actually working out right now. They are getting uh, their sweat on this morning, which is always a good thing. Great way to start the morning. And if you want to come on down to Casey's CrossFit, you can. They actually have a really cool event that's coming up. But I just want you to look at all this. If you're getting ready for work this morning, if you're heading out the door, you need some motivation. These people are definitely that motivation. Now let's get into Battle of the Fittest. Susie and Amanda have joined us this morning. Say hello to them. Now they're wearing their the end of Alzheimer's shirts, okay? So we have Battle of the Fist coming up and it's actually benefiting Alzheimer's disease. So we're gonna talk about that in just a second. But let's talk about what Battle of the Fittest actually is. Okay. Um, Battle of the Fittest is a CrossFit friendly competition where we raise awareness for the Alzheimer's disease. We're trying to get the CrossFit community and essentially the community to kind of just lift awareness, make it known around the community, and um, hopefully help with research and treatment. So this is something, well, because I was looking at your Facebook page, this is something that's going on across the entire nation, or how does that work? Well, we essentially want to raise awareness first within the community and amongst ourselves. Um, June is Alzheimer's and Brain Awareness Month, so what we want to do is promote that within the month as well. Okay, so what is actually going to happen the day of Battle of the Fittest? What goes down? Okay, um, Battle of the Fittest will happen here at Casey CrossFit, and so essentially all male and female athletes from all over the CrossFit community here in Bakersfield, or greater Bakersfield, area will compete for the toughest gym title the toughest gym title <laughs> yes. okay so I feel like we have a lot of tough people here yes. already so is it is it more so what how tough Logan looks or how tough everybody else looks I think just um, tough is all around who can lift weights who's able to you know endure the cardio who's able to do the movements so we'll be looking forward to all the winners okay so Susie's actually going to demonstrate for us in just a little bit and pinning her against Logan and we actually have the person who comes up with these workouts here too so are you prepared um, yeah, I guess I am. We'll see. Come come time, I guess. <laughs> I have faith. Well, come time is in about 12 minutes, so okay. you have 12 minutes okay. to mentally prepare yourself. <laughs> Perfect? Okay. So, Amanda, tell me a little bit about Alzheimer's Association and why it's so important to kind of get this linked up. Yeah, the Alzheimer's Association is the leading funder for private research. Um, we really need to find a disease. This disease is not talked about nearly enough. Um, but we also want to take care of the people in the community. We offer care and support, education classes, and it's just something that needs to be more on the forefront of, you know, everybody's daily lives. So how did um, Alzheimer's Association link up with this gym and Battle of the Fittest? You know, every year we do the Walk to End Alzheimer's, and we encourage the different walk teams to come up with creative ideas to raise awareness and raise money. And the CrossFit community has decided to do this as a fundraiser, and I think that it's awesome. It's bringing a lot of people together, and it's raising money and raising awareness. Okay. I like that, raising money and raising awareness. Okay, so Susie, scan the area for me. I'm putting you up against Logan, but is there <laughs> someone else that you want to challenge this morning? And it can't be me. Um, I will probably challenge Edna. Edna, okay, yeah. we like Edna. She actually works at American General Media with me too, so I like nice. this. <laughs> cute, cute, okay. So uh, Amanda, Susie, let's get our squats on. We're gonna start warming up right now. Let, dip low, dip low. Come on, Susie, dip low. Okay, Rachel, or excuse me, Rachel, our producer, I'm tossing it back to you. No, I'm tossing it back to Erin and Erin, everyone back at the studio right now. We're gonna put Susie up against Logan next. You don't wanna miss that. It's gonna be really amazing and intense, and we're talking about the Battle of the Fittest. Oh, I'm already feeling sore. Erin, back to you. <laughs> All right, Kalina. No, Susie, keep going. Keep going. Lazy yeah, keep over going. here already. Keep going. What the heck? There you go. <laughs> hey, Robin, give us morning. 20. Go. <laughs> now. No, put the microphone down. Go. Uh, I hate you this guys. Is, this is great. Oh, we're going to we're going to make you do this all morning. It's only yes. because yeah. you asked for I lost track. All right, that's that's a, that's a 10. And her hair looks so good no. still. 11. <laughs> Doesn't it? Does it look good? There you go. Oh, that looks amazing. Wow. You're going to get too many people excited this morning. Stop. Okay, listen. Now, now i got to like fix it a little bit. Okay, so we're here talking about Battle of the Fierce. Aaron Perlman, I know that you like working out, so I'm hoping maybe you could be a part of this. I'm not sure. Have you seen what our weatherman looks like in our anchor? Uh, I haven't, no. Yeah, okay. So he, he's actually kind of buff. Okay. So I think he might be able to handle it, maybe. Absolutely. Possibly. Okay. Say hello to Tyler. He's actually the programmer. So basically, you came up with all the workouts that are going to be happening for Battle of the Fittest. Yeah. So I programmed the three workouts that they're going to do. Uh, made it nice and quick and simple. Wanted to make it uh, an environment that even the 
someone who's never done CrossFit can do it, and then all the way up to the people who've been doing CrossFit for years still have a great challenge and push themselves pretty hard. Okay, okay. So we actually have our volunteers, aka who Kalina picked out to torture this morning. Say hello to Logan. He's actually the owner of this place. Say hello to Susie right next to him. And then at the very end with the black hat on, say hello to Nick. So they are subjects yep. this morning. So what are you going to make them do? All right, so their workout's going to be one legless rope climb, five burpees. They're going to sprint outside for 100 meters. They're going to come back in, one legless rope climb, five burpees to finish it off. Oh my goodness. Okay, drum roll, please. Are you going to just say, like, ready, set, go or something? Yeah, we're going to do a three, two, one, go. Okay, perfect. Everybody at home, watch because this is uh, the moment of truth. I, my money's on Susie. Who are you rooting for? Uh, I got to go with the muscle over here. The muscle we got, over we got Logan here. over here. Old man, lots of muscle. Oh man, all right. Here you go. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, so Logan got a head start. His jump literally was half the size of that rope. There you go, go Susie, on, you can do on, it. Quick, you can do it. Game. Let's go. Come on. Okay, this makes me want to work out and then also not want to work out at the same time. Yeah, it, it, it'll do that. It makes it's the vomit inducing fun, is what we like to call it. <laughs> you guys are very into Come on, Susie, represent the girls. Nick, you better pick it up. I like our cameraman's just gonna stay in here while they go run outside. It's okay. Again, this is all for the Battle of the Fittest. This is happening in June and uh, it's all for a really good cause. You can actually join oh. yourself if you want to, and uh, it all goes back towards the Alzheimer's Association. They're trying to raise awareness, raise money, raise funds. I hear there's also going to be vendors here as well yes. that are going to be a part of this whole thing. Do you know, uh, do you have a little more information on that possibly? Uh, not a ton, but I know that we're going to have some vendors out here. Uh, Lululemon, some uh, local food vendors as well. So, Did Logan just win this? Logan did just win this. Ah, Logan, he, j he literally just beat everybody and now he's cheering them on. He's a now, that's a good coach right there. Yes. That's, That's a very good coach. Oh, I love this. Okay, so I'm going to do this again because I did this to you last time, Susie. Come on over here and talk on camera. How do you feel? Tired. Tired. You did a great job. You represented the women really well. I just want you to know. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Nick, don't, don't act like you're going to take a break right now. Come on over here. How do you feel, sir? I feel great and tired. You did an no. amazing job. Did it wake you up a little bit? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Perfect. I like this, and I love how you're wearing your shirt. Logan, get over here. You're the, the old man with the muscle, I hear? I'm the old man, yes. So we're going to be we're gonna be hosting Battle of the Fittest here. Uh -huh. And are you excited about it? We're really excited about it. We're really excited to be a part of the Alzheimer's Association and uh, just to give back. So it's really affected a lot of people here locally. But more and more I have people that are members here. Hey, my grandparents had Alzheimer's and, and just great way for us to get involved and get back. I love talking to everyone. They're out of breath. This is so great. It makes me want to work out, but I'm still not going to. Okay, Aaron and Aaron, tossing it back to you again. This is a really great cause. You can get more information on what website again? It's um, battle.duatan.com. Perfect. Guys, back to you. Now, yeah. as we leave, Kalina, go ahead and give us 20 more. Just want to make sure you're keeping in shape with all those other doing my curls. workers there. Nope. Yeah. Doing my curls. That's She's all you got. Good. No, come on. Good morning, Aaron. You know, we're trying to get in shape, and it's really hard to do, but luckily we have a lot of people here who are keeping us motivated. We're getting ready for Battle of the Fittest, so it's happening in June, and it all benefits benefits, excuse me, Alzheimer's Association. We're going to get to some details so I can take a break. Um, Amanda, you can keep going though if you want. We're going to keep Amanda going. We're going to keep everyone back there going. Susie, I'm going to give you a little bit of a break because she, she did the battle earlier, so you got to catch up to her. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Battle of the Fittest. When is it actually happening? Um, it is happening June 11th here at Casey CrossFit. It's going to be about from 9 o'clock to 4. It's an all-day community event. We want the public to come and just raise awareness for the Alzheimer's disease. So how does it work? Are there, you stopped. Keep going, keep going. Uh, I, would, I would be a great coach, right, Logan? Logan's saying yes. Okay, so how does this work? So is there a cost to kind of participate, or what, what's all that about? Yes, um, we're asking um, all the athletes to have a $40 donation, and it all benefits Alzheimer's Association. You get a souvenir T-shirt um, that one of our sponsor companies has actually donated as well. Okay, so then <laughs> she's like stopping every time I'm looking away. 
So um, what type of workouts are you guys doing to get you ready for Battle of the Fittest? Um, a lot of the athletes have just been conditioning. They've been strength training, um, lifting weights, having endurance. Um, this is a fun, friendly workout. There's going to be three different divisions. A beginner fun workout. Um, she's over there like dying. <laughs> um, intermediate and then an RX competition as well. Okay, so then how many gyms are participating? Um, we have quite a few. We have CrossFit TOB, we have OD, we have Next Step, we have um, other ones as well like CrossFit Baco, CrossFit Frenzy. So a lot of the CrossFit community has actually band together and make this um, event successful. And they're all trying to get the title of the toughest gym, is that what I understand? Yes. So once you win the competition, it'll be your gym that gets the toughest title competition. That is so cool. Okay, so if people want more information, they can go to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yes, they can go ahead and like our Instagram page, um, Battle of the Fittest. They can follow us there and then like our Facebook page as well. And then you had sponsors that kind of made this all happen, right? Yes, we have wonderful sponsors this year. We have Broken Drum Installation of Bakersfield. We have Chain Cone um, Styles. We have Muscle Grub, Maya Cinemas, Target, Starbucks, oh, wow. um, Maui Pho. We have um, just a lot of community members and organizations that help this um, event successful today. So I love that. Okay, so we only have 30 seconds left. You're going to do sit-ups while I talk to you, okay? Because <laughs> Because you were trying to get out of it all morning long. So, tell me about Alzheimer's Association in 30 seconds. The Alzheimer's Association helps out... I'm waiting uh, for you to go back down. <laughs> it helps out family members in the community with support and care. And then we also are the largest funder of private research. We really ultimately want to find that cure. Perfect. All right, you can keep going if you want. If not, you don't have to. She's good for the day. All right, stick with us. We're going to have one more preview for you of Battle of the Fittest right here at Casey's CrossFit. In just a little bit right now. Aaron, back to you. Hey, good morning, Aaron. So we're here at Casey's CrossFit, and I got these lovely young men who just finished their workout to continue to do push-ups with us this morning. This is amazing. Ah, say hello to Nick. I was going to try to make him lose his balance. Ew, you're so sweaty. Okay, so we're talking about the Battle of the Fittest. Yeah. And um, if you see these lovely gentlemen right now, they could be participating in Battle of the Fittest. Is this, this is you at home. You could be participating in Battle of the Fittest as well. It happens in June. And, you know, we're going to get nice and in shape and motivated and smiley because everyone's so happy that they're here this morning. And Nick is apparently cheering everybody on with his up, down, up, down. Okay, so Susie, tell me a little. You guys, get, you guys are done. You guys are done. You guys are done. They had a really long workout, let me tell you. Congratulations. Woo! Good job, everybody. Good, Good, job. Job. Good job. I like how we cheer everyone on. You're dismissed. Okay, so what we just saw is a little sneak peek at Battle of the Fittest. Yes. I would think so. Yes. So you were telling me earlier um, something about how you guys all did something together for Memorial Day. What was that? Yes, we actually did the MRF challenge in honor of um, Navy SEAL Lieutenant um, Sergeant Michael McMurphy. So it's actually a hero wad that a lot of the CrossFit gyms do, all the athletic um, institutions all around the nation and the military as well. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back. In case someone's just tuning in right now, what is Battle of the Fittest? How can they be a part of it? And what is it going towards? Yes. Um, Battle of the Fittest is actually a CrossFit um, or even an athletic workout friendly competition that we have here at um, Casey CrossFit. It's happening on June 11. It's to benefit the Alzheimer's Association. What we want to do is just raise awareness for the Alzheimer's Association, raise awareness, lift up the disease. Um, we want to gain research. We want to have a treatment and find a cure. So how can people kind of sign up and where can they get more information on the Alzheimer's Association? Yes, we have the national website, the Alzheimer's Association website. We have the Facebook page just for Battle of the Fittest. We have our Instagram page. We also have our registration for Battle. They can sign up whether it's um, three different levels of competition. We have the fun beginner workout, the intermediate workout, and we also have the RX competition as well. Perfect. Do we have something lower than beginner for people like myself? <laughs> no, I think you can do the fun beginner workout. It'll be great. Amanda, this is where you're coming in on this one. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Alzheimer's Association. How did you guys link up with Battle of the Fittest? Um, you know what, we do the walk to end Alzheimer's every fall and our teams are so creative and they come up with different ways to raise money and raise awareness and the CrossFit community has a walk team and this is their way of contributing and raising money and they're doing a great job. This is great. Okay, so we ran out of time already. Thank you both so much for being here this morning. Again, it's June 11th. Yes. starts at 9 a.m. Yes. until 4 o'clock. Yes. You can be a part of it and the gyms are battling for toughest gym. Yes. And where can they sign up one more time? They can um, sign up on battle.doattend.com. Perfect. All right, Aaron and Aaron.
back to you. I think we should create our own team and come yeah. if we're all free June 11. Just in case. Well, I'll be, I'll be on my honeymoon. She's uh, <laughs> so sipping her cocktails on her honeymoon. Never Ooh. mind. <laughs> yeah.